Hello and welcome. My name is Taylor Magnus from Sakai, and today we'll be talking about how you can keep your organization and processes organized utilizing Sage Intax checklist functionality. All organizations have both financial and non-financial processes that have to be performed periodically, be it for compliance reporting, for regulatory agencies, or things as routine as closing your books at period end. These processes many times are complex with many moving parts, and these activities often involve sharing lists and spreadsheets with colleagues and communication on status, both of which don't provide much visibility and can slow down the process, as well as your financial close. Sage has provided some helpful features of functionality in the form of checklists to keep your processes running smoothly and to maximize visibility. With intact checklists, you can assign tasks, clearly see responsibilities, and understand the progress of your own as well as your colleagues' tasks. Let's jump in and see what this looks like within the software. Our checklists within Intact are housed within our company application here. Let's take a look at our December month end checklist. As we come into this screen, we'll see a number of items in our header, such as the checklist status and category, allowing to keep our checklist organized. But let's take a look at our assignment section. As we come down the rows, we can clearly see we have a number of typical period end closing items. Within our assignee column, we can designate our employee or user that will be in charge of any given assignment. When we assign a user, that employee will also receive an email notifying them that they have an assignment, as well as a hyperlink to the assignment details. Now, as we come back to the left, you'll notice these assignments are hyperlinked. If we click on any of these assignments, it will bring us into the assignment details and information. We can see within the header section, we can easily update our status, percent complete, and even attach files maybe supporting reconciliation, for example. Below, we'll see both constraints on this assignment as well as constraints based on this assignment. What these do is control the order in which the assignments can be completed. So if this assignment were to be constrained by another, for instance, you would not be able to complete this assignment until the prerequisite assignment has been completed. Finally, as we move to the bottom, we have something called our Collaborate feed. With our Collaborate feed, Users can tag other users within the system and collaborate on their assignments. When another user is tagged, they'll receive an email with a hyperlink that brings them directly to this assignment so that they can respond. These communications are logged and will live on this record for future reference. So no more digging up Teams or Skype messages from six months ago about why we handled something a certain way. As you can see, Intact with this checklist feature has made it much easier to streamline and track your internal processes all while increasing visibility across the entire team. And while we've just been looking at a simple closing checklist, this could be applied across any of your internal processes that require additional tracking. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you have any questions over this feature or anything having to do with Sage Intact, don't hesitate to reach out to our team here at Sakai.